During the 13th century, cathedrals sprang up all over Europe. By the 14th century, it was universities, most of them built just after the death of Marco Polo. 1343 Pisa, 1347 Prague, Pavia, Warsaw, Vienna, Erfurt, Heidelberg, Cologne, Bologna, 1088, Paris, 1120, Toulouse, Naples, Salamanca, and Lisbon. The popes fled Rome and settled in Avignon, France. Harvests were abundant. But Europe's population soon tripled, then quadrupled, until her population reached 100 million. The result? Shortages of everything. In 1315, a widespread famine caused indescribable misery. But worse still was the Black Plague, brought in by a Genoese ship from the Crimea in 1348. The bubonic, or Black Plague, contagious in the extreme. The wrath of God has struck the world. All of this is the fault of the Jews. Here, 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 here. They've contaminated our food. They're poisoning the wells. Death to the Jews. I will excommunicate all those who dare harm but these no innocent no one was people. listening. Nearly a thousand died each day in Avignon alone. In three months, half the city lay dead. In three years, Europe lost 25 million people, one quarter of her population. All this did not prevent the Hundred Years' War from continuing. Crecy, France, where the impetuous French cavalry under Philip of Valois nearly trampled their own foot soldiers during the charge, only to be given a thrashing by the enemy which was on foot. Battle upon battle, and no one learned from his defeats. In 1356, Poitiers, the Battle of Crecy all over again. Even the papacy split in two. Urban VI was in Rome and Clement VII in Avignon. Not only did they disagree, they disagreed violently. France, Castile, Aragon, Naples, and Scotland were Clement's territory. Northern Italy, Germany, England, Scandinavia, Poland, and Hungary were reserved for Urban. At Oxford, a priest and theologian named Wycliffe denounced the two popes for squabbling over the throne like dogs over a bone. He also denounced the sale of posts within the church. The Archbishop of Canterbury lost no time in excommunicating him. It was John Ball, a priest, who took Wycliffe's place. Where well, they dress in velvet, drink fine wines, and set their tables with spices and white bread, while we eat, ride, sleep on straw, while they lead idle lives in their manners, we toil and sweat. Here, 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 here! John Ball ended up in prison. Prague's university had a rector called John Huss. For him, the word of God was all important. And anything else was pagan. Only Satan's henchmen would dare make use of the church to fill his belly, dress richly, and move up in the world. The Roman Pope relieved the revolutionary Huss of his priesthood. That fellow's a real nuisance, excommunication! A council was called in Pisa. Its purpose, end the schism. Method, by naming a new Pope, for a grand total of three. The excommunicated John Huss appeared at the Council of Constance at the request of his Emperor Sigismund of Luxembourg, who provided him with a safe conduct. Before the learned assembly, Huss was arrested. The Emperor didn't lift a finger. Instead, Huss was tried and condemned. The death of Huss enraged the people and triggered a general uprising against the Germans. Avenge Huss! Avenge Huss! Avenge Huss! Avenge Huss! The church was unable to patch things up in time. A rupture in Catholic unity was imminent. And the same year John Huss was burned at the stake, yet another disaster in the Crecy and Poitiers tradition, Agincourt. Watch out, Lurch! Oh, hey, all right, pal. Uh-huh. What a mess. Uh, what'll we do now? Better get going. We can't hang around here. Come on. Okay. Let's go. Uh, that's enough already. Yeah? I'm starting to get hungry. Oh. Uh-uh. Let's get out of here. Help! Hand over your purse now. Uh, have mercy, spare us. Uh, please don't harm us. Okay. Go right ahead. Oh. 
Ah, you're most grateful. Thank you. Wait, take ah. this. Ah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, what's this? Well, what next? <laughs> well, what do you know? Here's what has to be done. Not so bad after all. Sure, it's easier than walking. Look. You gonna move on or not, eh, donkey? What should we do about this? See what's going on inside. Mm -hmm. All right, show me the loot. Mm -hmm. All right, now, my sweet, for the last time, show me the doll. Speak up, or I'll get rocked. Ah, help! Hold on, we're coming. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. We owe you our lives, strangers. Why don't you stay on here with us? We'll treat you well. I'm getting old, my son. Seems to me you'd make an able blacksmith. Be my helper. Ah. The big one's nicer. Very well, we accept, sir. Oh, yeah, that's, that's wonderful. wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon, maestro. Farewell, William. Hurry back now. Take good care, boy. While Burgundians and Armagnacs were busy killing one another, the English calmly went on with their conquest of France. The Dauphin, Charles, went into hiding at Bourges. His right to the throne was attacked most viciously by Isabella of Bavaria, his own mother. Invention. But what's it for? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> boys, boys, boys. I'll teach you how to hunt in the woods. Try it, you'll really like it. <laughs> hello. Hi, hi, hello. Hi. 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 Huh? Wait. You wait. <laughs> well, I'd rather pick my berries. Ah, there's one. Mmm, a nice one. Oh, uh, got it. Look what I caught. Who I don't know. And so I told him that here life's much more peaceful in this city. Oh, there they are. 
Look at all we've look, got. Look, Ma. Look. Good day, Sir William. Hello. The peddlers just arrived, Mom. Draperies, spices, oriental carpets. At my prices, it's a giveaway. Or try my fine candles, or them healing herbs, potions. How about a necklace? And for you, Mrs., I've set aside this lovely length of cloth. It's quite a deal, believe me. Oh, no, William, it's much too much. No? All right, I'll take it. Shh. I'm letting you have it for nothing, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here. Here. You're a good pal. It's less for pals. So long, everybody. So long. Yeah. <laughs> Blasted gadget, just what I need to get my beard cut. Now what's he invented? My boy. Yes? Take that. It's my very latest invention to cut off my beard, which is cut in this other invention. Go on. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, it works. Yeah. <laughs> and here's my next invention. A pendulum with weights. Works like a clock. Where do you see this? Huh? Oh. Uh, ah! 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 Step right up, ladies. Tender, succulent chickens. Come and choose. That one there. Step right up there, ladies. Best apples you've ever seen. Don't you agree? And believe you me, they're guaranteed worm-free. Mm. Hey, cut that out. <coughs> mm. Hey, come Good and get your candles. Come and buy my candles. Who buy my candles? The finest candles you've ever seen. Every wick is tenderly dipped all by itself. The merchants are having a splendid procession in honor of their patron saint, St. Crispin. Business sure is booming in the city. Farewell, friends. Farewell. Gee up. Gee up. Let's go. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go. The gentleman's back. Look, smoked herring. Taste it. Tell me how you like it. Excuse me. How are we supposed to eat these things? Uh, I never. Uh... Look, oh, it's here ah, it's cute. Just girl stuff at the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> bear, bear, bear. There. You think you're so smart, idiots? Just come over here. Bear, bear. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Yay, yay, yay. Listen to this. It's hardly believable. Oh, oh. Now listen. No one will believe this. It seems that a young shepherdess rode on horseback to the Dauphin's castle at Chignon. To trick her, the prince hid among his courtiers and put a richly dressed young noble on the throne instead. But the shepherdess went straight to the Dauphin, kneeled before him, and told him her mission, to see him crowned king. He was so impressed, he gave her an army, and his bravest Armagnac captains. Hooray, 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 hooray! Uh, let's go give her a hand. Joan is on her way to the besieged city of Orléans right now. She's sworn to free the city. Well, then we're leaving. Eh? 
That's Don't worry, okay. you we know we always, always come out on top end, you know of these that. things. Yeah, well, The boys have grown up now. They'll be able to help you. We couldn't just abandon that poor little girl, could we? Could we? Among those defending the besieged city of Orléans, morale was at its lowest point. Suddenly, Joan broke through the English lines, and she and her men entered the captive city. Onward! But during an assault on an enemy fortress... What do we do? <laughs> and off we go towards the Reims Cathedral, where Charles VII takes his divine place as King of France. attack from this side and you others from there. Kind of a pinch of mint like hey. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant play, <laughs> Chief. <laughs> what a nice banner you have. Good day, Bert. Hello, William. Sure, you don't miss him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you call it sharpshooters, eh? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Take anything you can lay your hands on and set everything on fire. Farewell. We'll be back to see you one of these days. Well, for the scaffolding, we'll get some wood from the Lord. But he won't give up any of his wood. Yes, he will. Isn't he our protector? Well, I can guarantee he'll listen. Due to your poor protection, my Lord, you are responsible for damages. Now, for ah, rebuilding well, our homes, I... we'll donate oh, our labor and you your oh, wood. Oh, my word. Absolutely out of the question. Huh? Careful now, my Lord. Give it some thought now. Fine, perfect. It'll cost you 50 pounds. Yeah, but... Well, that's far too much. That's way beyond our means. Wait for me. I've got an idea. Good sir, could you do us a favor? Why, sure. There. Ah. But I'm missing some, too, to be exact. Huh? Oh, well, uh, leave it to me. Uh, uh, but, uh, 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 stop, stop, stop. Oh, no, 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 no. There you go. <laughs> Well, then. Very good. It's shaping up again, huh? Oh, this dessert has got to be. Just you wait, you! <laughs> Our friends, worn out and discouraged, decide to come back to the city walls for shelter. Life will be safer here. Hey, hey, wait for me, friend. Wait for me. Come on, wait up. Uh, 
Well, I'd rather see the procession on St. Etienne's. If you take my advice, it's always St. Honoré's that's best. It's time. Hi. Good day. Good day, William. So long, friends. So long, William. You're most yeah. kind. God will reward you. Thank, Thank you. you. Most You're most kind, kind, of you. kind. God will reward you. You are most kind. Oh. Here. God will reward you. Hey! Oh! There, that's done it. Huh? <laughs> Good day. Good day, William. Hello. Our things. A leper! A leper? Get inside you. Well! Well, what do you think? It'll be handsome, eh? But where's the staircase? It was on the plans. Hold on, we'll take care of that. Hmm. Well, you don't say. Now, that, there, that'll be better. Goes up, comes down. Hmm. I want a stairway, nothing else. All right, you all stick in the mud, fuddy duddy. That's great. Lopsided. Look, it's lopsided. Ah! And this time it works! Oh! Come over here! Now isn't that better? The wind-up clock! Take a look! The mechanism! You like it? What's going it's on? It's racing! Oh! 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 oh, 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 oh. Whatever has gone wrong. Oh, I'll throw this out the window. Now, this time I have an idea. Ah, perfect. Excellent. Couldn't be better. Now, we'll just take a wine press and we'll make an imprint of these letters on a piece of paper. The results ought to be very interesting. Ah, no more need for copying books by hand. Very nice. Oh, uh, that's a good idea. Evening, everyone. Welcome, traveler. Afraid I have some sad news, friends. Joan of Arc has been burned at Rouen. At long last, the Hundred Years' War did end in a shambles. In Paris, 24,000 homes went to ruin. Limoges had five townsmen left. Wolves roamed everywhere in cities ravaged by battles and the plague. In 1453, Gutenberg printed the first Bible. In the same year, in Constantinople, Justinian's ramparts gave way to the Turks. Byzantine artists fled to Italy and would help create the Renaissance. And at Vinci, a town near Florence, a baby named Leonardo was already thinking inventive thoughts. <laughs>